Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brick and a Mole episode 15. So, I realized this is very dirty in here, so I really need to clean it. What is this? Yeah, filthiness. We need to get this very clean. So, I'm not really sure where I should put a new... Oh yeah, I was going to put it here, wasn't I? Oh, it's already there. But, where's all the cleaners? I don't even know where all of them are. I want to put one around here. I might put it around the bus stop here. So let's build a new maintenance center. Right here. Should we do it the whole way along? Sure. Why not? Let's get some walls. We'll put it along here. And then we'll also put the door in. Staff only. We'll put it over there. I think that could do well there. So we will have to assign it to a maintenance center. We'll hire like 14 or 15, maybe 10 janitors because we really need this cleaned up. So if we hire some janitors, how many? Okay, that one, one. We need fast people pretty much to hire. So three. Where's, there's number four. There's not really that many fast people here. I really wish there was more. So there, how many is that? That's six already. Let's go with janitor. You're all, you're all right for janitor and you as well. We'll get one more person. That's a good janitor, that, but they're very slow, which I do not want. We'll hire this person. Okay, so, we need to check all the time zones on this, so you can come in at zero. The next can come in at eight o'clock, like they usually do. And then the next three can come in at 14, no, it's 16. And then there, there we go, we have three on all at the same time, so this should be a lot cleaner like your cleaning you're gonna take a while to do all that hopefully this becomes very well a lot more clean there's a lot of people here but the queues are like four well almost five long which isn't too bad manage store seven thousand that's really good our profits going down though not sure why but there's so many people on the road and all that. Okay, this door is going very well. Like I wanted it to, but we're not making a lot of profit anymore. Not sure why. We could get another person in the morning because at the moment we need more staff members on in the morning. So let's get a cashier. Where's a good cashier? This person's pretty much the best one, but they're pretty slow. Let's get this person. So you can come in at, yeah, that time. I think that could work out. We could get more on, like, pretty much right now. Because at the moment, it looks like all the lines are filled up. So what time is it? 14. So you can come in at 8 o'clock. Should we get another person? Now let's leave it like that for now. At least the shelves are all pretty much stocked up and all that. That's really good. I like how people are using the alleyway here. The hole. Instead of going over the top. But can't really force people everywhere. These car parks are really getting filled up. We really need more stores this restaurant is making a good profit this was a good idea to do the only problem is there's not like enough people being served at once there's a big queue in each one of these but I want to try and fix some of these issues that's going on 
Like the filthiness, yeah, it's getting cleaned up. Slowly. So that shouldn't be a problem that much. Clothes are us. What is this? Check out the full. They don't seem full. When are the sales going on? Okay. I think that's the stock cloak, isn't it? Yes, it is. We could get more people on at different times. Okay, let's change all this. So you can work at zero. There's three people on at zero. So we'll put three on. We'll put some on at eight o'clock. So eight, eight, and then you can come in at eight o'clock. And then another three can go on at 16. So we'll have to hire another person. We'll hire this person here at 16. And then we will hire like two or three other people can, and they can go on at different times. So there's two, there's three, and then one more, four. So you can come in at eight o'clock, you can come in at eight, and then the other two people can come in at 16, which is four o'clock, and there we go. Hopefully that works. There's more staff members on at the same time. It's going to take place in the next day. So we'll get rid of that. Hopefully they all get served. There are no restrooms. All restrooms are full. They don't look full. They look all empty. So I think they're talking about up here. Like up this way. Because there's a restroom there. I'm not sure if anyone used that. I think there's someone in there. Yeah, there is. So that's being used. That one's being used. What is this? Okay, that came on because... They haven't got more staff on yet because it's not the next shift. That's what, why it came up. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So, this is a busy store. I kind of want to extend it, but I can't. I cannot extend it anymore. I really wish the restaurant was like over this side so I can extend this a bit. I want to build something here. So if we build foundation, let's go with probably just a small shop here. 16 by 8. We'll put the walls back because we actually need to keep the walls in. We'll also put the doors probably next. What about in the middle? We should really put it in the middle. Is that the middle? I don't think it is. I think it's an even number, so... Should really be the one here, like them two there. But I'm going to put it there instead, right on the corner. And then we will put... Oh, we have to wait till it, it gets built first. Because if it doesn't get built, we can't place anything. There's a lot of people sitting down here, that's good. A lot of people in bowling. The cinemas are pretty much packed, which is really awesome. What else can we do? What are our needs? So if we go to needs, fast food. That is good. We have so much fast food. Yesterday's sales, 570. Demand is 456. That's good. Bowling. We could get more bowling. We have enough sales on movies. We have just enough sales. Liquor, we need pretty much double. Tier 1. Demand and sales by quality tier. On display 7, demand 69. Yesterday, sales 62. I'm not sure how the tiers work. It's really confusing. Yeah, I'm not sure how to actually do the tiers and all that. Oh, I think it's because you're meant to do, like, one, 50% of the store for, like, tier three. I think that's how you do it. But I want to do a frozen store.
This could be here. It actually could be here. Because this would be a good spot for it. Okay, it's built. We will build a checkout. Oh, how are we going to do the checkouts? It's pretty small here. I might make it a little bit bigger. So if we go from probably... Instead of that, let's, let's make it that big. I think that big could work. It would be a lot better. And then I'll put a door here. So I can have two entrances and an exit. So let's put a door there. Once they build that, we will start putting all the checkouts and all that in. Or I could put the checkouts on this side anyway. So let's put some checkouts. One, two. Oh, we can only fit two checkouts. What if we put checkouts on this side as well? That could work. So a double-sided checkout. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So four checkouts for this frozen store. This is going to be nice. So where is the fridge? Here it is. So how many do we need? I'm going to place a lot. Because we need frozen food. Wait, if I put it there, then... This checkout can't have any. Wait. I can't place any there for like up to here. Because it will take out the checkout line. Okay, I'll place it here as well. Because if I place it here, the checkouts are going to get full. Yeah. So if we assign this to a store. Let's assign it to that store, store 25 do that and then that so it adds into the doors and then we will get a storage, a sun storage it's a bit far away I might actually make this into like a storage area around here so the next one along here will be a storage area. How big is this? 11 by 12. So if we do 11 by 12. Make this into a storage area. We'll also make this a bit longer here. Also place a wall there. And then we'll place some doors. So like staff doors everywhere. So one there, one there. We'll put a door going into that store. And then we'll also put a double door onto this. Where's the... Okay. They have double doors at the top. So we could do that. I'm going to. Pretty much match the other side. And then we will have to assign this as a storage. It's a bit laggy because they're building at the moment. So I'll pretty much let them finish before doing anything major. Yep, okay, that's our new storage area here. So many doors. Don't even know why I use that many doors, but we need to assign this as that storage. Hopefully, no, there is not. We need to build road work, loading zone. How am I going to do this loading zone? Should I put it on this side or should I put it on that side? I'm not too sure. That's all there. That's pretty much in a good spot. So I might actually do that. So I put three here and then I can put like a small store here. Yeah, that would be awesome to do. So they can start filling up that after they build that road. That sounds good. So instead of walking all the way down here, they can just go here. If they're going to build it, which I think they should be. Yep, someone's coming to build it. 
Wait, did they just go back home? Well, they came here, then probably their shift ended, and then they went home. We'll probably need more maintenance down this area. How's the cleaning in this? Yeah, it's going well. It's a bit dirty here, but they are cleaning it up. Yeah, everything's good now. So, for this store, we need to assign ice cream. This could be just an ice cream store. No, I'm going to do like a lot of stuff. So, let's do ice cream. How many of these are there? There's a odd number. So, let's do milk on the next row. So, one, two... And then milk in this one. There we go. For this one we need... I'm going to do dairy in this one. Because milk and dairy go together. And then for this one we will put down fresh meat. Hopefully I can fit all these in here. And then for this one we'll... Go with fresh fish. And then that's the third one. And then for this one we will do vegetables. And then for the last five. I'm going to do frozen pizzas. So you can have five fridges. Okay that's great. So let's make it 24 hours. Staff member, let's get stock clerks first so they can, they can fill in everything. So, any fast people like janitor, do you really want to be a janitor or do you want to be a stock clerk? I think you will be better at a stock clerk. So, we'll hire... We'll hire five stock clerks for now. I think that would be nice. Okay, we need a fast person. So you can come in at that time. You can come in at 8 o'clock. Same with you. And then that afternoon shift. You can come in at afternoon shift. And now we need cashiers. So a good cashier would be nice. Let's go with... They're all slow people. I really wish I can like refresh. But let's get a lot of cashiers on the job. How many should we get? I'm not really sure how many I should get. That's seven. I think seven would be enough. So like two in the morning. The next one, eight o'clock. I might get two in the morning and then three for the rest of the shift. So we need one more cashier. That person's a good builder, good janitor, and a good speedy person. I think that could be a good option to do. We will check to see if that's good. None of our stock clerks will be arriving. Are they all going to park here? There's all our new stuff coming in. So at 8 o'clock, they should start... People are whinging about checkouts are full. Really? What time? 16.02. Maybe that switch over time. We could get another one. Like there's three people now. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Are people really complaining about this ticket, ticket lobby being super busy? I think they are. Oh, I have a good idea. Since this is a small, long shop, I'm tempted to bring the bowling alley down to like halfway so we get more bowling. Because we needed more bowling, didn't we? Yeah, demand 144 and we've only got 100. So that could be a good option to do. This was a good option to do, so you can go out either way. I'm happy this is very busy though. 
Wow, this is actually going to be one of the busiest stores, except for the alcohol store, like this store. Super busy. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's build our new expansion for our bowling alley. Should I do it the whole way, or just half? Let's do half. Let's add that back. We'll also have to move where the checkouts are. Because they're not in a good spot, are they? Yeah, they're not in a great spot. There is like... A good demand for bowling. I might have to get another person working. What are the staff on? Oh, like... We could get another three cashiers. Okay. Where is the good cashiers? Let's get one person... Let's just hire a few and hopefully we get a good one. What if we get rid of this person? Okay, so you can start at zero. You can come in at zero. Eight o'clock and then eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Wait, is the three people on at zero? No, there's not. You can come in at 16. You can come in at 16. And we'll get another person to work at 16. Hopefully that works. It's going to be a lot busier because we just built an expansion for this. Bowling alley. Let's assign this down here. Hopefully that's in the same one. Yeah, I think it is. So, we need to get more checkout changing. Order counter. Let's get them down here, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. And then, we will get more bowling lanes. Where should we put them? Like, right behind? No, that's not going to be good. What if we put them... Here. This could be good for him. That could be a good spot. I really wish you could rotate because I'll put it like the back here. Let's make it the same floor tile as the rest of the store. There we go. Hopefully the builders come back because they really need to build all this. And then I'll demolish all these and then we'll put something there. Hopefully we'll put something there. Oh, that person missed. Let's see if they missed. They, no, they're not missing. That person missed. So where is the builders? Are they coming to build? Is that a builder? Is that actually a builder? No, it's not. I thought you were a builder. I hope this is good. Wait, where are the builders? Oh, here they are. He's one of them. He's another... Four, five, six. Is that more like six of them? Yeah, that's six. And then we will have to demolish all these. Because we don't need them there anymore. Hopefully they'll go to this one. If they do, they'll be good. Now we have to wait for the builders again. That's going to take forever for the builders to come back. How much money are we making a day? 66,000, but I did like buy some new stuff and all that. We're paying a lot more for salaries now because we're hiring a lot of people. Wow, this store is very busy. Okay, we may need more staff members. If we get another, wow, look at that. I don't know if we can fit any more checkouts in here. I don't think we can. Yeah, I don't think we can. The only thing that I could suggest is bring it down here. Like, extending it a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. That's the only thing that I could think of doing. And then put more checkouts here with more staff members, which will serve way more people.
Let's change this up a bit. So floor tiles, let's make it like this type of floor when you come in. All the way down here. And then when you're on the bowling lane, it's just a wooden floor, which is good. I like it. So many people here bowling though. This is going to be good. I'm glad there's so many people like at my mall. It's very busy. Yeah, that's good. Hundred Wow, so many people are leaving. Like 8% of people are leaving and will not come back tomorrow. Why not? Fast food restaurant. Oh, this needs a change up, doesn't it? So many people here. We need more staff members. So not the cooks, the cashiers. Let's get probably a few more. So one. You can come in in the morning. I'll get two in each hour. If that makes sense. So two. One can go in at 8 o'clock. The next one can go at 8 o'clock. And then we'll hire two more people. To go in at 4 o'clock. Awesome. Hopefully that can resolve all the cute issues on the fast food restaurant. People leaving store 8. Yeah, I know the alcohol store is very busy. The bowling's pretty much getting busy. I'm happy with that. This is very busy. We need to build more checkouts. So how many should I do? Like one, two, three, four more checkouts and then have like four more people work. It's making a profit. So we're losing a lot of people because the checkouts are full. So if we hire more people and have more sales, we'll get more money, wouldn't we? Let's hire a few more people. So you can come in at that time. I don't really know the best times. Oh, that person's really good. We'll definitely hire him. And then we'll get two more people. I think that could work out. Oh, that person's not even good. But I might get him so I, he can learn how to be on a checkout. And then he'll get good skills. There we go. Hopefully that works. Because this is a very busy store, which I just opened it. And I think it would go well. Okay, the deli. The deli is making a good profit. It's got a big salary. $3.9,000 a day. Wow. Okay. Hopefully we make a lot more. That used to be my best making money, but like this made a lot of money. It's pretty much dropping. The jewelry store is so good for money. There's pretty much only one person there anyway. Yeah, only one person. We could do with more. Wow, look at this restaurant. So many people stacking. That was a big issue when I had on my other series which is pretty bad because I was learning how to play the game like they all just stay in one spot okay so hopefully the bowling's good but I might leave this episode here we did create a new add-on to our bowling alley we created new storage like extended the mall a little bit we built this frozen store which is pretty cool we are Getting very popular in the mall series. Hopefully you liked it. What is this? Research project completed. Row work three. Haven't I already done that? Oh, I thought I already did that. Oh well, I did it again. But if you liked this series, hope you liked this video as well. So give it a thumbs up. 
and subscribe to my channel and I will see you for the next another Brick in the Mall episode. Thank you for watching.